All right, guys, so for the prime rib martini, um, what you want to do to start is definitely chill the glass. Martinis are all about the chill, so you want to make sure you have a nice chill on the glass, some ice and water. Make sure as much of the glass is exposed to the cold temperature as possible. You can make martinis with anything you want, vodka, gin. We like to use gin here, specifically Ford's gin. It's one of our favorites. It's nice and herby. Um, what you want to do is add one ounce of dry vermouth and two ounces of gin or vodka. I'm going to get your vermouth for you. Thank you. You know what's great about martinis is that there's a wide variety of kinds that you can make. You can make dry, you can make them dirty, you can make them with gin, you can make them with vodka. I like mine with a bit of orange bitters. Hannah was just telling me she likes hers with a little bit of olive oil, which is very trendy these days. Um, and Nick was telling me he likes his extra dirty, nice and sloppy. Oh yeah. It's, it just goes to show, and you, as James Bond will tell you, you can make them either shaken or stirred. Uh, Nick, could you go ahead and dump that for me? Sure. Thank you, thank you. Now when you're stirring, you're diluting the drink, so you want to stir for the right amount. Make it nice and chilly, but not too diluted. Get your strainer and strain it into your chilled glass. What kind of vermouth were we using today? A nice dry vermouth from Method. Um, it's brewed locally here in New York, just like our Ford's Gin, which is from New York State. Wonderful. And, uh, and then we garnish with an olive. We have these Losada olives that we have in our pantry and larder section here on heritagefoods.com. And uh, those are delicious. That brine there has a little MSG. Beautiful. Mm. Delicious. All right. Why don't you make us a couple? Yeah, and absolutely. I'll, I'll get into carving. It's me. I'm thirsty. Coming up, coming up. Herd chef. Um, with martinis, it is, uh, usually I like to freehand most of my pours, but with martinis, a little more precision is generally called for. Um, just because it's only a few ingredients, uh, you want to get, make sure you're really tasting that vodka and vermouth. Can you shake mine? Yeah, absolutely. With a lot of olive brine? Heard chef, not a problem. Uh, Here we go, an extra dirty martini for Chef Nick. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's... See, cloudy. That is cloudy. <laughs> Hannah, and you like yours a little dirty, right? A little bit, yeah, not, not that cloudy. Please. I'll take the... Thank you. Salty Thanks. like a potato chip. Yeah, I might have to stir a little bit of the salt crust <laughs> in, in, into my, my cocktail. Sorry. Delicious. That actually looked really good. A little bit more delicate for your olive brine. Just a bar spoon or two? Yeah, exactly. A dash, if you will. A much more normal human amount of olive brine for Hannah. Throw an olive in there. Thank you. Of course. For garnishes, you can go, there's a lot of different ways you can go. You can go pickled onion, make it a little bit of a Gibson. Um, you can go olive, you can go lemon peel. Uh, it's important to find your taste uh, with martinis. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Cheers and let's try some Cheers. of the prime rib. Ooh, please. Yeah. Cheers, guys. You can uh, find us online at heritagefoods.com. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers.